What's going on gang? Sam Fate for Films here. Today we're reviewing the Indiana Jones and Lost Tomb set and comparing them. We have here from 2008 set 7621 released in the United States for $20. Adjusting for inflation is about $30. And the new in Lost Tomb for $40 in 2023. So I'm going to compare them and see which one wins out. Also before we get into the video, please check out my other stop motion videos. I really put a lot of effort into them and it would be really cool. First we're going to compare the minifigures. On the left is from 2008 on the right is the new set from 2023 which already has one extra minifigure being that new solid minifigure so that gives us four against three. Comparing Indiana Jones here, it's clear that the new one is better, but for some reason I still just think that old face just worked much better than that new one. I don't know, he looks kind of young, but everything else is pretty much better, especially that new dual molded hat and hair piece. And here we have both Mary and Ravenwood minifigures. Both are very good, just like the Indiana Jones one. The old one, all the female minifigures had blue eyes, this one just has the regular eyes. I feel like it's probably better, less creepy looking. The detail on her torso is just so much better these days as compared to the old one. And they both have very good, shocked, afraid alternate expressions, but the new one has that excellent back printing, which really represents the scene well, and also those cool dual molded legs. So the new one, also better. We have our skeleton or mummy, mummy from the new one. Obviously, the mummy's a lot better. Technically, the skeleton's not really a whole minifigure, but we're just going to count it anyways. The mummy is just on a whole new level. It looks totally creepy, much more accurate to the movie. It's just totally epic. I still love that old skeleton face, though. And the newest awesome minifigure was Sala, who we have never, ever gotten before. Critical minifigure to Raiders of the Lost Ark, and just a great selection for this set. Before the minifigures, 2023 wins out. We're going to give the point to that one. But just know I still love the old 2008 ones. They're just so good for the time, and I keep big nostalgia. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the design category, and we're going to look at the first one first. So, the temple, it looks pretty temple-ish, with the pillars right here. It's got the nice tan color, two fires. But it is definitely kind of small. But you know what? It's really good that way. As you can see in the back, we got some stickers of the Egyptians... And we got the jackal statues, which look pretty good. The sticker's nice. Uh, I have no sticker on that one because it's old. But they are a bit small. Like I said, this set is rather small. Uh, but it's still very well made. On the back here as we flip it around, not much because, you know, you wouldn't really have it facing on the back. We have also the Easter egg, which I always thought was super cool as a kid. R2-D2, C-3PO, and Princess Leia. Or that's just Egyptian. I don't know. But I, th I like to think it's Princess Leia. So yeah, for 2008, a very well-designed set, one that I always loved as a kid. We're going to look at the new one now, see how it compares. Okay, so the new one from 2023, obviously it's on a whole nother level because it's made 10 plus years later. Uh, it is still very cool. The Jackals, they are the highlight of this set. They are just so monstrous and tall. The amount of detail on this, you got the abs, the cool sticker belt, the excellent face print. And on the sides, you got sticker printing. Also have that R2-D2 and C-3PO sticker, which is nice. We turn it around on the back. We have... Those eyes poking out, I like to think they were Jawa eyes. I think they're supposed to be like skeletons or something like that. The back, not much happening again. It's really, that's not how you're supposed to display it. Uh, you can see the arc in there. They have an arch here, which was not present on the older one. So that is a very cool feature. Yeah, those Egyptian mummy stickers. That's awesome. And just tons of stickering on the walls look very nice. We have the Bionicle sticker right there uh, as an Easter egg. Some more eyes. Oh, no, that's the Bionicle sticker. Never mind. Very cool set. Very well designed. It's a lot bigger. It's a lot more compact. you got a lot more floor space to play with. But for whatever reason, I still really love that 2008 version. This one, objectively, is just quite simply better. The jackals are much higher. The nice yellow gold is neat. So this one is definitely going to get the point. So I'm going to compare the Ark of the Covenants. I think the 2008 one is just way better. And the reason is, is this yellow brick in the middle kills this thing. If it was gold, this would probably be better. But it just looks ridiculous and silly because the arc is supposed to be all gold. And this one might be might be smaller. Most of it is gold. There's that brown piece right there. But I do just think aesthetically, it just looks a lot better. Now we've come to the play features category. And each of these has got some good ones. So in the original set, to make the jackals fall just like in the movie, you can pull on this pin here. But there's a problem. It doesn't really work that well. To really get to push in... You have to like shove it like that, and the skeleton's supposed to pop out. So I don't know if it's just because it's as old or how it always was, but those panels are just put in much too tight for it to fall really well. If you wanted to make the break of the panel much easier, you can just kind of lay it in like there. It's not really touching, and it should work much better. On the new one, the falling feature works way, way better. So quite simply, you just got to flip this lever, and it comes crashing down. And it's so easy, and this thing looks way bigger, so it makes it much more fun. If you want, you can just reset it like that. Another thing... It's got this rubber piece on here so that when it falls, it doesn't really make a loud sound, it just falls slowly. And then, once that, you can pull back on this pin to reveal the mummy that pops out, just like in the movie. Pretty cool, right? Then on the 2008 one, you got some snakes up here. So, there is this uh, lever here. 
you just got to push it that way and you can make them all fall out just like that and it works really well they all just kind of come tumbling out like that pretty fun and in the new one you just kind of have one snake in there you just got to use this lever and you flip them in like that it works really well but it's not as good as the tons of snakes falling out all at once so when it comes to plate features the new one has the edge over it explicitly just because the statue system works way better where that one doesn't really even crash through at all so that one gets the point for the best plate features it's really cool so it's at this point that the old one can't win because it's currently three points to zero. But just for fun, we're going to talk about the value of the sets. So the old one was priced at $20 and adjusted for inflation is about $30. And this one was released at $40. And honestly, I think they're both really worth their price. You know, for $30, it's a pretty good size set. You got two excellent minifigures. You get all that stuff. For $30, that's good. And for $40, you get an even bigger set. The giant jackals are cool. $40. You get four minifigures. The mummy's back there. He's not in the set. But four minifigures for $40, this giant thing. Two minifigures for $30, this pretty good-sized thing. Honestly, I think I'm going to have to call this one a tie because they both have really good value in their own way. Then one final thing I wanted to talk about are the instruction manuals. What the heck is that? Just a, the set on a white background? That is lame. As opposed to this. Like you got the whole set there. You know, action Indiana Jones. The statue falling. You got Marion over there. You got a background of the well of the souls from the movie, all the snakes on the ground. And this is just like some person set it up in their room against a black white background. It's lame. And this is what all instruction manuals look like these days. We need to get back to this. It's so aesthetically pleasing and just looks awesome when you're building it. So the final score is one to four. The new set clearly had much better things than the old one, but I still think the old one is really good. I still love it. The arc is better than the new one. But this new one, if you haven't picked it up, I think you should go for it. It's currently on sale most of the time for even $35. And that is really good for what this is. I really wish LEGO would make more Indiana Jones sets. This is such a phenomenal theme back in the day and now. But the potential it has, it's so great. So guys, make sure you comment on this video what you liked about it. Just comment if I should do more of these comparison videos. And make sure to check out my stop motions. And I'll catch you guys next time.